The first thing you need to do is plug in the microscope and turn on the illuminator. And then, use the rheostat to raise the level of the light. You should start with that open halfway. This will then give you light from the illuminator up into the condenser and to your specimen. The next step is to use the coarse focusing knob to lower the stage all the way to the bottom. Open the clip, put your slide on the stage, and release the arm. Use the stage adjustment knobs to move your specimen over the condenser so that it's in the light and centered. Grip the turret to rotate the objectives. Do not pull or push on the objectives. Here is your lowest power objective. This is also referred to as the scanning objective. That's a 5x objective on this scope. Here's the 10x objective. Here's a 40x objective. And here's a 100x objective. Rotate the turret until the lowest power objective is above the specimen. It will click into place. Pull the iris diaphragm lever all the way closed and then slightly open it. When you are looking through the lowest power objective, you will be using the coarse focusing knob. Since you've lowered the stage all the way, you are slowly raising the stage until your specimen comes into focus. When you are in focus with the lowest power objective, use the stage adjustment knobs to center your specimen in the field of view. Use both knobs. As you look through the oculars, one of the knobs will move your field of view horizontally, the other vertically. The stage will move side to side and back and forth. When the specimen is centered and in focus, rotate the turret so that the next highest magnification clicks into place. From this point on, you will only be using the fine focus knob. Using the coarse focus knob could easily drive your slide into the objective and damage both the slide and the scope. Refocus the specimen with the fine focus knob and recenter it in your field of view with the stage adjustment knobs. Once the specimen has been found, focused, and recentered at 40x magnification, the nose piece should be turned so that the 40x objective and the 100x objective are straddling the specimen. A drop of immersion oil should be placed on top of the slide immediately above the light source. After the immersion oil is added to the slide, the 100x objective should be moved into place above the specimen. Make certain the 100x is moved into place, not the 40x objective. Oil will damage 40x objectives. Refocus on the specimen using the fine focus knob only, and then recenter the specimen in the field of view. Once done viewing the specimen, the stage should be moved all the way down, the slide should be removed, the immersion oil should be cleaned off of the 100x objective, and then cleaned off of the slide. The lowest objective, 10x for micro, should be moved into place above the light source.